We in here, man. We got Jay Huff in the building. What's up with you, broski? What's deal, man? I mean, I appreciate you having me come through for the interview and all that. Yeah, A lot of sure. people was telling me that they wanted me to interview you, so you know I'm saying we in here, man. For sure, for sure, for sure. Zero, man. So how'd you get your name, J Huff? Like, what, what's the Huff stand for? That's my, that's my real name. No bullshit. That's my real last name. You feel me? You know my first name. So, like, feel me? That shit J something, so we just shorten it up to J, you dig me? So that shit just J Huff, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all real. So for the people that don't know, tell them where you from. I'm from 32nd and Norris, you feel me? I'm from North. But I ain't from the whole North, though, you dig me? I'm from 32nd and Norris, like, you mean? I ain't got nothing to do with nobody else, none of that. I'm from Norris, you. So what was it like growing up around 32nd and Norris? It was thorough. I had a real thorough growing up, you feel me? Real, real, real solid guys, solid team, grew up around, you feel me? Still the same niggas I grew up with. Clean sheep boys, you feel me? So, you mm -hmm. So how you get into making music? This nigga. <laughs> this nigga. What would you say he inspired you to make music? Yeah, we used to just be in the crib, fried, just listening to music, rapping over other niggas rapping. Like a song would come on, we rapping over that song, feel me? <laughs> like damn near like taking the nigga flow and all that, just taking putting different words on it. No instrumentals. No no on song. No instrumental though. Like they rapping too, feel me? Nigga nigga is fucking like doing that shit for a little bit, like just rapping over people. And like the summer was over. So yeah. how long you been making music? My fault, I ain't mean to cut you off. Yeah, like I was saying, Ro Ro Roly went to school. Shit, I just went to the booth one day with my man. My man, like, like, like the words I was plugging in, you feel me? Went to the booth with my man, sent that, sent, sent Ro some shit. He like, bro, that shit fire, you gotta keep doing that shit. So I just started writing every since then. So that probably was like, what, 14, 15? Yeah. yeah, probably like, yeah, I've been making music since like 2014, 2015. That's when I first started, like, yeah. What was the people reaction when you dropped your first song? Everybody was going crazy. I dropped like a freestyle. I was like heavy freestyle boy for a long time. Feel me? Everybody was going crazy. Cause they ain't know it was like a shock out of nowhere. You feel what I'm saying? Only my friends knew. So then I just like even shocked them. I just made a SoundCloud and uploaded that shit and sent that shit to my niggas after I uploaded it. They just start promoting that shit. And we just was like trying to grind it out since then. Man. Who you was listening to before you was rapping? Oh, man. Mm. Shit. Probably me. Um, around that time, yeah, definitely me. Um, Gotti. Gotti was on fire around that time. Um... Always Hove, always Drake, for me. I started really liking Future around that time. Young Thug and then was coming in the game, so yeah, it was like around that time. Yeah, I was heavy on them boys. J. Cole and Kendrick, I liked them a lot before I first liked them. Who you listen to now? I listen to a lot of people, man. I listen to like a lot of different genres of music and all that, man. I'm all over the place with it now. My ear is like open to damn near everything. I shit like, oh, oh, man. I might listen to oldies all day one day, you feel me? One day I might just listen to my friends all day. Some days I might be go industry, other than that. I'm making music, I ain't really mean. 
and shit, like. Mm-hmm. So how your song No Baptist come together? Did you know that song was gonna shake the city up like that? Man, fuck no. <laughs> we ain't no sh- none of that shit, right, bro? <laughs> we ain't no shit. Mm. We just, I, we just thought it was a hot song. We, I recorded in a booth for my man who just, who just passed. That's all we thought it was, dog. It wasn't no hype behind it. Like, yo, we about to take the city over with this joint. Like, no, nah. That shit was just natural. Like, I ain't gonna lie. That shit just happened like natural. Like, that shit just. Overnight, for real, for real. That shit went from like 7,000 views the first day to like 30 the next. I said, oh yeah, this is doing something. But I, I wasn't really that confident in it, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. So when I shot the video, I'm like, damn, this shit gonna get a couple, you know what I'm saying? It's because of the track blowing up. But I ain't think, like, you feel what I'm saying? I ain't think that shit was gonna blow up. I'd have, I'd have known that shit was gonna blow up. I'd have shot that video in the church with all these guns. <laughs> it ain't even a motherfucking shootout in that bitch. I'd have had, a, I'd have had niggas getting drowned in the water, getting shot, blood all in the pool. You feel me? I'd have been tripping if I'd have known that. Real rap. I'd have went crazy. That shit have looked like crazy in there. You feel me? <laughs> Do you feel like that song got you lit? Yeah, for sure. We ain't gonna trip. That shit got that shit got shit whamming. You feel me? We you feel me? That shit had us have a lot of fun, right, little bro? Fuck you mean? Man, that shit definitely turned shit up though. But I, but but I felt like I I felt like that was gonna happen anyway. You feel me? I was getting too too good. Like I you mean. That's just how I feel. I'm cocky ass boy. Like I don't give a fuck who got something to say, you feel me? We all like you know what I mean? Everybody gonna watch, they know what's going on. Like they know who really, really one of them. You feel me? I'm one of them. You stuck in that room with me, you know you know to bring it, you feel me? So that's what one of them mean. You know what it mean when you don't belong in that room. I'm one of them. I belong in every room I fit, you feel what I'm saying? For sure. So I just be like, eventually that shit was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? No matter which little path I took. It, like, it ain't nothing I can't do. So it was just going to be dominant in one of those areas. You dig me? Shit like that. Did you write that song or you freestyled it? Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I wrote that shit. I actually write music. Like, <coughs> I don't, my mind be all over the place to the point where I got to write shit down. I can't write no whole song. Cause I usually like catch the vibe once I'm recording, but like you, the start off and shit like that, like yeah, I write music for sure. I wrote that song. You know? Yeah. Now I'ma quote you from that song. You said, "Now a lot of niggas fuck with this line from the song too." Like I hear niggas say this shit all day. Right. It's a thirty. This ain't a nana. So, right. so what you think of the whole perk epidemic in Philly right now? It sounded hot in the song. You feel me? I don't. I ain't. I ain't going like you. I'ma do me. You dig what I'm saying? But don't do what I do. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like that shit got everybody thinking like I just popped thirties. You feel me? Like you don't know if I take thirties or not. You dig what I'm saying? I definitely telling people like, no, don't take no perk. Like you tripping. Like I done told motherfuckers like, bro, you tripping. Like don't take no pills. Like I ain't. You know what I'm saying? I'm on some other shit. You feel me? I know what I'm saying. I need my shot. I ain't tripping. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? No, though. I'm fucking with you, but no, I don't. I don't. No, I play with this shit. You feel what I'm saying? But I ain't really like. No, nobody don't do that shit, man. For real, smoke your little weed or don't do nothing. All right. All right. Uh, another quote you said on the song "No Baptist." You said, "He say he really in the field. That nigga cab, man. We gonna drown him in that water. No Baptist." Now, give me an example of somebody that's really not in the field and he really be capping. Like, give give somebody an example of that. 
somebody in, like an example. I don't, I don't know like no person like offhand. No, you don't gotta see no names like a, like a scenario or somebody that really like. You know me, I'll tell, I'll tell you somebody. Ain't, me, me, like, <laughs> no, you ain't gotta drop no names. So niggas Just know that like, they be cat. Like you know how people be like, they be like on the internet they so gangster. You feel me? They be talking that shit. Op this, op that. You wanna slide on this? You wanna slide? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? But they got like real life shit going on, you feel what I'm saying? But they real life shit going on is like, we'll give them all the time to be able to tweet and put all this shit on Instagram because they not outside, you dig me? But well, people don't really be outside, like, they be real live shit going on. Like where we from, it's constant real live shit going on. It don't matter if it's shit die down, shit come back up, you feel what I'm saying? You not, you don't know nothing about this. You feel me? That's what it is with us. Like, we we be trying to tell niggas, you don't know nothing about this. Nigga, we from the Strawberry Mansion section. Everybody know what go on in our neighborhood. Constant shit. We, we, that's where we from, the middle of it, the, the base of it. You feel me? You don't know nothing about that. You not out here. They're acting like you out here gonna get you smoking. We seen it a thousand times. All you had to do is mind your business or not say nothing. Or not act like you was in this shit. Feel me? Yeah, for sure. How did your project uh, Streets Made come together? And what's your favorite song from the project? I put that shit together like... I, I took some time to put that little joint together because I had so many songs. Man, I did that shit with the team though, bro. Feel me? Me and the gang, we was like going over shit like, bro, we putting this on there, rearranging this order, you feel me? Like, bro, this not going right here, number one. Like, I did all of that shit with my friends, bro, in the career, no bullshit. Like, everything, nigga, we literally all had the shit in our notes. Like, bro, you got to put this here. Wake up the next day like, no, nah, bro, I think ball game should be, like, you feel me? Like, we was on that type time. Man, what's your favorite, favorite song? song? Yeah. <laughs> Top three if you come down to it. Oh, top three, that's easier. Hate Us, number one. That's my favorite song off my team. I love Hate Us. That's, that's really my favorite song. I love it. Um, Draco, number two. Draco, number two. I like Draco. And worth it, number three. I'm really burnt out with like Streets Made No Baptist and all that, you feel me? I love that shit. That shit fire. Don't get it fucked up. That's the hottest shit. Ain't gonna be too not. A, a lot of niggas ain't gonna never make no shit like that. But I'm I made it, so it's like, you feel me? That shit crazy, but it's like I like the other shit that they gotta get on to. So if you had to pick no Baptist or Streets Made, which one would it be? I got no back, but no back could take us around the world, you feel me? If I'm looking at it in that way, no back just could take us around the world, so no back just. When you perform that shit, people, the crowd be going crazy, too. Yeah. They be fuck with, they fuck with that, John. Yeah, that's their shit right there, I ain't gonna lie. I like your song, um, We Meet Again with West Philly Tour. How, how you on tour click up with that, John? I see y'all about to drop the video too. Yeah, we just fucked that joint up. Yeah, that shit be crazy. No, that's my boy though, so that was like easy to set up, you feel me? We just like locked in the booth one day. Niggas had like 10 hours. Nigga had like 10 hours in that joint. We just go in there. It was like one in the morning, we just go in there. See how the nigga put, some, put the beat on. He said, no, I got this joint for us. Shit, he, he put the beat on. I just start writing a verse. He started doing his verse. Boy, mix that shit down. That shit was crazy. I knew that shit as soon as it come on. That shit be like, ooh, ooh. I be like, damn. <laughs> that shit be crazy, bro. 
I fuck with uh Believe Me too with Brucey the rapper. I fuck with that John Heavy. Like you got fuck with everything Brucey on that nigga fire. Yeah. Talk about how you and Brucey met. Did y'all grow up together? Yeah, that's my mean. That ain't my rap friend. That shit ain't got nothing to do with music. This shit like 13 years before niggas even thought about making music, you feel me? Real shit. That's my, you know what I'm saying? That's like us, me, Roly, Brucey, a couple, a couple more of us, you feel me? Like NSG, we all grew up together, like, you feel me? So like that, that shit, you gonna see that shit, like niggas gonna see that shit. You gonna really see that shit. And, and, and people need to know that, you feel me? Like me, G4, Roller, and Brucey, we is like everyday, all day homies. No music involved, you feel what I'm saying? Mom shit, mom. Everybody mom is our, like you dig me? Like this shit like that, you feel what I'm saying? Like niggas is family, niggas and that shit ain't like no. I mean, we got classics. Before niggas had little sh shit and all that. <laughs> What does NSG stand for? Nar Street Gang. Never stop grinding. I fuck with that. Because it got to mean something else, you feel me? When you ain't from Nar Street, you can't say NSG. Like, you can't say that in that way. But you could rep it and never stop grinding because we go by that too, you feel me? That's what we push. And that's some real shit. So, what changed the most since you've been rapping? What change? Yeah. Everywhere I go, shit like that. Like taking pictures with people everywhere I go and shit. And people running up on me like, oh, that's him. Shit like that. Favorite place to get a cheese stick? If I told you, you wouldn't know. <laughs> tell me. 30th and 100 and Poppy. And uh, take you a little trip down there, man. So what you what you be getting on your cheese steak? No mayonnaise. I don't fuck with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck with the mayo. I don't man, fuck with the white. Disgusting. I don't fuck with that shit. A little salt, pepper, a little fried onions, a little hot, a little sweet, a little ketchup. I'm rolling. What's your thoughts on the Philly rap scene? Niggas on fire. Niggas working. Niggas carrying it. That's, that's what it is. Yeah. What's your favorite song you recorded? Pieces. You said pieces? Mm -hmm. Top five favorite Philly rappers of all time. <laughs> mm. J Huff. You said freeway? Yeah, big brody for sure. Mm -hmm. Favorite Philly Philly clothing brands? Philly clothing brands? Philly clothing brands? Mm-hmm. We got a lot. Yeah, we got a lot. Um, 
probably paired that. Shout out Deke. Yeah, shout out Deke. I like that shit. That's it. That's it. Oh, alright. I'm asking you. <laughs> oh, God. We done? got so many designers right now, bro. Lavello. Oh, yeah. Lavello. Lavello. Fish and Fears. Fish and Fears. Slummy. Perspectives. Crazy brands of food right now. Yeah, but I don't be wearing yeah. all that shit. <laughs> I be wearing Lavello, probably Peter Dot City. I like my man Sid Picasso got some shit. He wearing that shit. Premier Band shit. Yeah, that's it. Now, are you looking to sign sign into a major label or do you want to stay independent? I'm just trying to get the bag, man. I'm trying to be worldwide artist and just get the bag. You feel me? Make sure my family shape, my whole team shape, and I'm sitting on all these M's. You feel me? I don't give a fuck if I get signed or go independent. However way it works. What you working on now? <sighs> Streets made two. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, Singles. Before I get y'all streets made too, I gotta get y'all streets made too later. Feel me? That's when they get hot and stuff like that. Who's your favorite artist to work with? Favorite artist to work with? Yeah. Brucey. Shout out Brucey. Yeah, it's so easy. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it's brother you love in Philly? Between me and my niggas, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about them other niggas. <laughs> real shit, but between us, yeah. Them other niggas, I don't know, bro. Real, real shit, like, I don't even be paying attention to all of them. Like, you feel me? Between us, yeah, though. What makes your music different from everybody? You be hearing my shit? I be talking that shit. <laughs> they, don't be, they don't put that shit how I put it. Like, they don't really be listening to what's going on. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what to call it. It's like flows, bars, vibes, all like mixed in one. Like magic. Melodies, yeah. A little magic. <laughs> and a sprinkle a little greatness on top. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that shit just different. Bro. I'm just different. Really shit you ever wrote? Mm. You can write that shit if you want. Shit I ever wrote. Probably some shit I got called. Uh, mm, that's hard. That's hard, bro. That's like a. I don't know. I be yeah. talking some real ass shit. Yeah, that's bro. Like too many songs. I feel like it's a whole shit. Yeah, like it's probably like fight night or like. Price fake love one. Like, I don't know. I was thinking of my man Chris, but it nice in the band though. Everybody think I got it good. I ain't never let my hands show. Eight. Never thought that I let my hands go. I know. That might be it. 
Used yeah, to piss up on my jeans. Mama was a queen. Auntie was a fiend. Mm -hmm. Wasn't focused on dreams. Sipping on lean. Always trying to scheme. Mm -hmm. I'ma get it with my team. Running up these beans. Watch some niggas leave. Free that nigga she. Ain't make, make the league. league. Shit ain't what it seems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Couple pussy niggas too. Mm -hmm. When it gets the cold, they should get exposed. Bricks. Couple old heads bold. Money growing more. Why you had to fool? <laughs> I was steady chasing goals. Surrounded by bitches like yeah, I went to Rose. Rose. Balling dead Rose. Whipping by the stove. Got it for the love. If you want the load. It's two K's, you can check rock. Cold nights in a snowstorm, trying to bust a track, bring them numbers deck. Dicky on and my lumberjack. I was in the field like a running back, trying to get some heat like with a summer hat. Would it get rich? I always wondered that. Remember late nights, watching Thundercats, my first eight ball. I got fronted that. Dead. Seen a football, Shit. then I punted that. Right. Love basketball, I don't want it back. Right. When I left court, I was selling crack, back and forth to court just for selling crack. Kept the glizzy on me with the beam on it. Shorty is a 10, I'm about to dream on it. I ain't Morgan Freeman, you can't lean on me. <laughs> <laughs> Really like that, bro. That's what my freestyle shit sound like. The oh, shit, the real, real shit, shit bro. Oh, I really, really like. I'm gonna be the first nigga, right? That they just let like get away with. Like I'm gonna make like a full rap tape and like full other shit. When you get your first big check, what you gonna buy first? My first big check? Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm gonna be fucking that hate, but... Say no. <laughs> 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 We now we global. The first big check that mean we, that mean we now we about to be global superstars. You dig what I'm saying? Secure the family. We gotta secure the family. You dig what? Right. That's one. one. Hit the road and get that paper right back. Right. right. Then. Then we go on to work. You know, then you flip property. Your situation. You flip that money from the rip. Yeah, for sure. We seen that. We watched the whole nip joint. We could get some cribs. We used to get, we could get properties and still get jewelry. You know how I survive when we broke. Fuck you, so man. We can, we can invest most of that shit. Real right. That shit really not fucking around. They was following us before we got the jewelry anyway. So, we gonna double that money, bro. Niggas trying to be rich forever, you yeah. Where would you want to live when you get on? Hmm. Easy. I'm living in like Canada or something. <laughs> yeah, we gonna be far away from each other, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I love you though. Know. Oh nah, man, niggas be bitching. Y'all know where I'm moving at first. I like me. No back. No that. I'm I'm right over there. Kidding me? I'm tapping in and buying a crib. <laughs> yeah, shit. You like any Philly producers? Yeah. Yeah. Who producers you fucking with? He uh Swaggy Swaggy on the Sam, of course. Um, I don't know. I really work with like Biz. Yeah, Biz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really just work with like the team a lot. So, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Dougie and them. Yeah. Child Dougie. Yeah. They be sending me some heat. You ever got to a point you was about to quit? I ain't one of them. I ain't one of them <laughs> at all. That's out. Fuck, I'm quitting for it. Niggas be bitching. Mm -mm. Never. What's your plans for the rest of 2020? 
trying to get rich, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be the hottest nigga on the East Coast. I'm trying to take over the whole, whole, whole world. Who would you want to collab with? That's in the industry. Who? Oh. Who? Oh. Mm -hmm. And drop a tape when you're on the. You want to kiss on the track? That should be hard too. As we wrap it up, you want to give a shout out to anybody? Shout out to the whole NSG, man. I mean, of course, my nigga Roly, you feel me? We ain't gonna trip. My nigga on fire, too. That's it, bro.